The problems families face are different in each continent. And in continents like Africa, the same rule applies to many of its countries. The Synod has analyzed some of the challenges African families face, among them polygamy. Polygamy isn't only about satisfying men's desires. Sometimes it all comes down to working the land. Children in Africa also carry out this task. When you're talking about the chief of a tribe, it's also a matter of having descendants. One of the challenges of the church in Africa is finding the best way to deal with this situation. Participants specifically discuss how to reject polygamy without rejecting the dignity of the wives or the children. What can you do in this situation? The first thing is conversion. But then it is difficult to ask these men to just leave all their wives. Who's going to provide for their children? Or are they, so to say, second-class children? That's why the pastoral problem with polygamy is so complicated. African bishops taking part in the Synod also explained how some NGOs want to impose birth control and abortion in Africa as a way of tackling its widespread hunger and poverty. However, Cardinal Cherkson believes Africa has the capacity of providing food for all its people. Let's try to invest more in the productivity of these people instead of killing them. Let's invest more in productivity. We must raise their level of productivity. Because you can always produce food, especially in Africa, where there's always sun and rain. Any seed can grow in Africa. And so to deal with all these issues properly, Cardinal Cherkson says there needs to be a change in the mentality and politics of Africa. He hopes the Synod will give way to this change so that the lives of millions of people can improve significantly.